how to replace the flexible tube on an Audi A4. Today I'll show you how I replace the flex tube in an Audi A4 1.6 liter 101 horsepower. What parts and tools we need I'll show you now. First, we need a new flex tube with mounting kit. Since the flex tube is under the vehicle we need two ramps. Then a rust remover spray. Sandpaper. A half inch ratchet with various nuts and extensions. A hammer. To clean a wire brush. And for your own safety gloves. We can start work now. First I take the two ramps and put them in front of the vehicle. I make sure that the ramps are straight, so that the vehicle front is stable on the ramps. Now I drive the vehicle carefully on the ramps. For your own safety, I put the handbrake on maximally and engage the first gear. In addition, I put two wedges under the two rear wheels. Before I lie down under the vehicle, I put on the two gloves. For a better view, I use a workshop lamp. Here we see the place where the flexible tube has been torn off the catalyst. The flexible tube is fixed to the engine with four nuts. Two nuts are on the lower side and the other two are on the upper side. Next, I cleaned the three bolts on the catalyst to remove the connector from the flex tube. It is of course possible to cut through the three rusted bolts with an angle grinder. Here then must be worked very carefully, since the fuel lines are only 20 centimeters away. Now I spray the rust remover on the three bolts and let it act for about 15 minutes. Since the nuts are so badly rusted I use now to remove a nut splitter. The nut splitter is put on the nuts and tightened first by hand, and then tightened with a ratchet and matching nut until the nuts burst. These nut splitters are available either in stores, or on the internet. The prices depend on brand and quality. The splitter shown in the video I bought for 15 euros. Here now hangs the connector that I will remove now.
Next, I clean the burring surface of the catalyst with sandpaper. And now I remove the two lower nuts from the riser. Now we see the two rusty bolts. I have already removed the two upper nuts from above in the engine compartment, and thus can pull out the flexible tube from below. How to get to the upper nuts I show you a little later. And now I clean the bearing surface of the nozzle. Again, I use sandpaper. Ok, and now I open the bag with the new mounting kit. Inside are the new nuts with bolts, as well as the new seals. Here we see the old and new seal. Now we unpack the new flex tube. Now I'm lying under the vehicle again and now put the new gasket on the bolts of the riser. Wonderful, and now I put the new flex tube on the bolts on it. And now I screw the nuts on the bolts by hand, so that the pipe does not fall down. Please always observe the torques specified by the manufacturer. The other two nuts are attached to the bolts from above in the engine compartment. Behind the lambda probe are the two upper bolts.
Finally, we screw the flexible tube with the catalyst. As we can see, the gasket between the two pipes has to be connected to the bolts. Again, please note the torque specified by the manufacturer. Many thanks for watching, and I hope you had a lot of fun with it. Disclaimer. I give no guarantee or warranty for the correctness and completeness of the work shown. Please ask a licensed licensed mechanic before attempting to repair a loan. Please always observe the legal safety instructions to avoid injury. Many thanks. Goodbye.